Dreaming of owning a property in a prime location with great proximity and fantastic neighborhood? EJ Investments Sanyang Seaview Estate is the best choice you have been waiting for. Our Sanyang Seaview Estate is approximately 15 minutes drive away from the busy hop of Brusubi roundabout and into the heart of nature where you can have a peaceful and relaxed lifestyle with your family. You can buy a finished four bedroom story with five year flexible payment plan or a service plot with two year payment plan option. With over 300 homes, you will enjoy big tar roads with covered drainage, modern electrification with solar street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and a breath-catching experience of our beautiful sea view and lake view. You can own a home today at our Sanyang Sea View Estate. Call us today on 446-4838 or 325 9220. Visit our website on ejinvestments.net. EJ Investments, first in property. The first president of the Gambia, Sadao Rekereba Jawara, died on Tuesday, 27 August 2019. Jawara, country's founder leader, led the Gambia to independence in 1965 and became the first president on April 24, 1970, after the country became a republic. He served as a national leader, serving as prime minister from 1962 to 1970, and then as Gambia's first president from 1970 to 1994. In July 1994, he was toppled by Yaya Jame. This gentleman right here could have lived his life in the West and be one of the most prosperous sons of this soil, living outside the shores of this country. But no, he decided to come back home and gave it all and all he did. And he is someone that we should not only remember but immortalize. And the best way to immortalize Dauda Kairabai Jawara is for the government to do right by him being the first president of the republic, the person who ushered in independence, and the person who gave Gambia what Gambia lacked. A lot of people will say development didn't come to the doorsteps of Gambia during his time. But I think people are very unfortunate to understand the political history of the time, that when Dauda Jawara was president of the republic in the 70s and early 80s, the world was going through what you call an Arab embargo. There was famine, like we all know, in Ethiopia and other places. So the priorities of donors was not to help in development, but to help in making sure people stayed alive. But Dauda Jawara overcame the ERP, the Economic Recovery Program of the 80s. Dauda Jawara overcame the 81 coup and tried his best to give us a good economy. And a good economy he gave up until 1994 when Yaya Jame took over the helm of this country. So he is a good citizen, a person that this country must recognize. And recognizing Dauda Jawara should not be posthumous, but it should have been when he was alive. But it's never too late, and it's now time for the country to give him, one, a befitting funeral, and two, name edifices, public buildings, public roads, public streets after him for what he has done for country, for the region, and for the people he loved, we the people of the Gambia. Adieu, our uncle, adieu, our grandfather, adieu, a brother, and he is the last of his era, meaning the JC Fais are gone, the PS Njais are gone, the Sanjali Bojangs are gone, and he should be celebrated, and he should close the era of our pre-independence politicians, and now let's try and emulate what the likes of Dauda Jawara has done for country. Today is the day of mourning, and uh, the late Sadaura Kerba Jawara cuts across all parties. Today we do, we do not even want to talk about parties, we just want to talk about a great hero has, uh, has been late rest, and um, we have to find ways of celebrating our heroes um, because and, uh, anybody born after 1994 does not know a lot about our late um, uh, our heroes, and uh, Sadaura Kerba Jawara is one of those uh, people. And uh, if you look at, um, at independence, um, the structure that uh, the colonial um, the masters left behind was almost in shatters. And um, he has been able to not only maintain peace and stability, but uh, to also bring development in the Gambia. And for that, we have to um, celebrate him and uh, also um, honor him. And also, you have to go back to our, our curriculum so that um, our kids, our grandkids will, un will understand the greatness that uh, the founding fathers um, uh, did in, um, actually, um, in gaining our independence. Jawara was born in Barajali, Central River Region. He is the son of Mama Fati and Almami Jawara. 
He was educated at the Methodist Boys School in Butters and then attended Akimoto College in Ghana. He trained as a veterinary surgeon at the University of Glasgow School of Veterinary Medicine and then completed his training at the University of Liverpool. I fought independent with him. I was his assistant wherever he is. I served him for 30 years. But he's so intelligent. I traveled with him all over the world. We went to UN. We went to OAU. But it's fantastic. Whenever we went to these places, these conferences, I mean, he's an example to the African continent. Because when he was taking the independence, what people see is that the country is too small. He cannot manage Cambia as an independent country. He says he would. And he did. He says, and I, I will give them democracy. And he did. All the bigger countries in Africa became a democracy because Sadawla's practice of democracy in Africa, when they say it's not going to be possible, he says he's going to make Gambia an independent country. They say Gambia is too small. Why not with Senegal? He says no. He says they, they say you cannot. He says he would. He did. I served him for 30 years. I served him as a parliamentary secretary to him for three times. I served as a minister for 30 years. So he's a great man. We lost a great man. Africa lost a great man. He's an educationist. One. He's a humanist. He's a humanist. He's very good. He's very generous. And he has a manner that he does not get angry to anybody. He does not disgrace anybody. Anybody who comes, I was responsible for hustling people. I know what he did. I want people to take him as an example because he is an educationist. And uh, let every Gambian try to emulate Sadawda. It will be difficult. Democracy in the little Gambia. People were surprised They're all over the world. Even the British, which colonized this country, they, they, they said, no, I was there. It's not a matter that uh, I had it. I was there. So he was a great man. We lost a great man. You never get him angry as an administrator. He welcomes everybody. He advises them. He does not get angry. So this is the man today we are losing. Beginning work as a veterinary officer, he decided to enter politics and became secretary of the new People's Progressive Party, PPP, and was elected to the House of Representatives in the 1960 election. He became the leader of the PPP and then the country's first prime minister in 1962, only the second ever head of government following Per Sarnjai's time as chief minister. Under Jawara, the Gambia gained its independence from the United Kingdom in 1965. He remained as Prime Minister, and Elizabeth II remained as Head of State as Queen of the Gambia. In 1970, the Gambia became a republic with no monarchy, and Jawara was elected as its first president. President Adam Barrow led a cabinet delegation to the residence of the former president, Sadawda Kereba Jawara, to pay condolence to the Jawara family. Today is a very sad day for this country. Uh, the demand for Sarah of the Jawara is a big loss to Gambia. And it's a big loss to the entire African continent. I think he was a great man. And uh, he was a Pan-Africanist. A big politician. It's a big loss to the political family. And uh, we have come to extend our condolence to the family. On my own behalf and my family and the government and the entire Gambian people. We have discussed with the family. We have uh, discussed on the arrangements of funeral. I think it will be a, it will be a state funeral. We have agreed on that. Uh, and it will be done on, on trust. On trust, yes. yes. Mr. President, you describe the former president as a great man. What are some of the things that you will point to that make him a great man? I think there are a lot of things we can talk about, Sada. He was somebody who believed in the principle of democracy. I think democracy covers everything. He believed in the rule of law. And he was somebody who was very, very tolerant. And I think he served this country for about 40 years. 
uh, throughout his life. He delegated his life to the service of, of the people. I think that makes him very, very great. Thank you very much. Alhamdulillah <laughs> Must get in Ken, Lepulum de Vrek, Munkadef Chico, Tech Chico, Yermade, Akal Nanyep Jabotam Len, Gondohalinam Raferna, Dundam Raferna, Alhamdulillah Santi Alla Mujamitam Raferna, La Amna Katimatu Usna, Yalla Maiko, Mudem Deminwa, Hamle Murafella, Amul Benfitna, Linkayan Almai, Yermande Alla Teruko, Mubokanya de Kajana. The greatest challenge to Jawara's power came in 1981 when an attempted coup d'etat took place and soldiers from neighboring Senegal were forced to intervene. Following the coup attempt, Jawara and Senegalese President Abdou Diouf announced the creation of the Senegambia Confederation, but it collapsed in 1989. Jawara continued to rule until 1994, when the coup d'etat led by Yaya Jame seized power. Following this, he went to exile, but returned in 2002 and lives in retirement in the Gambia. He successfully protected human rights, internally and externally, at the level of the UN, Commonwealth, OIC. He was once chairman of the OIC Peace Committee. And uh, he also insisted that in the Commonwealth Secretariat we must have a Human Rights Commission. And uh, he followed that successfully. Now Gambia has lost a man who has been working very, very hard in the area of human rights, development, respect for human person. He was a great man. And uh, he was the one who made Gambia the home of Africa's human rights. Yes. What did you see during his time and that hence he has gone, you will never forget him? No, no, no. He was a great man and uh, he was very, he was highly, I mean, committed to the protection and pro promotion of human rights. And uh, he has successfully uh, externalized that uh, achievement, not only in the Gambia, but outside. Yeah. Gambia, we were leading in many foreign, I mean, many uh, international organizations in the area of foreign human rights. And uh, this man spent most of his time in protecting the Gambians. He had no idea of uh, all of Jola. No, 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 no. He was beyond that. He was a man who was beyond, beyond that. He was highly respected by all the tribes in this country because he brought all of us together. He was the man who led this country to independence. He was totally committed to the promotion of human rights. And uh, we lost a great man. Today is a very big, sad day for our country. And let me say, not only for our country, but the, for, for the whole region and the world, because this man has done a lot, not only for the Gambia. This man maintained peace for how many years? This man is someone, he's a president, but put his, himself down to the earth. I could remember my childhood. This man come to our village, Basekoba Kunda. Those days, my grandfather, Jauru Kurbali, and my father, Alhaj Muhammad Kurbali, he sit with them, he sat with them at the Bantaba, eating a food called Findo. His wife visited me in Germany. And this, these are people who you know that they put their self down to the earth. 
This man could be a very good example for us. All the good things they have done for us in this country, we should try not to spoil it. This man is a good example for us. Let us not keep on fighting each other. What is tribalism? These things started a few years back. What is Jola? What is Mandinko? What is Fula? What is Rahule? This is nothing. We are all from Kullukum min Adama wa Adama min Atrab. In Akramakum in the light. What is going on in this Gambia? Who is Jola? Who is Fula? Who is Mandinko? We are all one. Let us forget all these things, what we are doing, fighting each other for nothing, for no good reason. Let us take this man as an example. This man is giving no difference that you are Jola or you are Mandinko. How many ministers of him are Jolas, are Mandinkos, are Fulas, are Srahulle? Please, Gambia, let us forget all our this difference of this politic system we are going on. Let us try and maintain peace in our country. Let us maintain peace in our country. Let us not spoil the future of our children, our grandchildren, our grand grandchildren, my brothers and sisters. Man Egypt la jange momi scholarship. Mom jawara. Madam Janke. Madam Jangal do momi fi. Mu ebal otombe banyu oto yijir sima. Moño jangal xali yi be fare ñi. Wow, <laughs> Je suis un homme qui a été nommé Artikoya Lamey. Je suis un homme qui a été nommé Serena Kouran. Je suis un homme qui a été nommé Serena Kouran. Je suis un we are also happy that he has lived a very well-lived life. He's lived a life of a noble person, and we pray God to place him in the highest of the genres. Thank you very much. You are so welcome. Born in May 1924, died on 27 August 2017. Former President Sarawda Kerba Jawara will be laid to rest on Thursday, where he will be given a befitting state burial. <laughs> Parce <laughs> ñe <laughs> Lorsque
ñu ci baye yalla yalla japp ci ñom ci dara ñu leen ci sallallahu alayhi wasallam ni ku bax la won ni ku bax sa daw da fa bété sa daw da xoron sa daw da muslimoti sa daw da mul ladriti sa daw day gambia ba daamé gambia di ngol ni min malon hanna sa ran dindi ma mbakalam ne fa malo be betinar ani wulo ko na be yaay ni intata ni fama sita lamento ko be balaje janin kayra ba o ka fo ba fala janin kayra ba be kala jam president ti jaw ka su jawre be halaki la folo bar ne fama halaki de ne fama le betna department baraka alay horoke ye la misil meke ye la la diri ye la ou de ta na se be nyam bakel bara setegn momi man la fi fale te la fi la fo alay dunya ba ya jamme muta kartan anin nani mami ma bo ma fuike ko lafta coup d'etat kala est ce que ndenyanta coup d'etat be coup d'etat ke no la ba ni mbake no la mbake la bar ma no ndelo mama jawara kausu jawara dingo ni mariama jawara dingo ene dum bi samuna ko no na fon min kele min ya no ko e dabula politique ko no e be sin e bu lele a sa dawla sin no no kan yalla pour que kairo ni ne si min fo no gambia no li ye mi ra kunu na ni man kunu lo min ye kunu je wala ni ninka gambia bo tadula jam baleto min kata gambia be balo be yakala mo so sa dawda mo lolet gambia la lolo lon sa dawda te ya kanu sa dawda mo gambia la lolo te ima kanu gambia sa dawda mo gambia la lolo te ye muta kartan ni nani mami ma bo mam fenke akano kamma wulu kamma yam fatama ala anin kila kamma arjanna senu ala ma la taala samba jana badi ngobe Ya Rabbi ya ma arjanna kallan kala ma dala ya ma dala ya nislam e dingo be amin amin jawara diko honon ke yela ala ki la bon songo yela ni mi man jawara le malo mi ye jawara boku lo le malo ni malo safo e ala ki la bon songo le muin ye juara si ka jawara diko abite la la dami ala ma allah taala arjanna diya arjanna kallan kala ma allah taala al dai ala ma dala kama ka jawara ne yanga toro min ke ngayan kan ka to min ke yam fata duniya ani lakira alama allah taala la jang sone ay in horo ke senu ngo in islam ke senu ngo ya rabbi ya ma gambia lolo alama allah taala yam falama
Bokir Fatu, this is Sally Job. Ndaka Kodoki, Balwo service la dinkiralu ani la do kunyolu e be banko karo beto kabirin carton fo koyna nalla fa ko ko tan so balwo service la kolto ali commande telephone la no la melbuko 9400213769419 wala 3192870 wala han kabi alta internet do ali la kolu jibe www.balwo.com